Are you ready? Hey guys, it's Crazy Sean DX, and you're probably wondering why for this video as the is the computer for the webcam not right here on the bed. Well, <clears throat> I looked back on a number of my videos, uh, and honestly, after consideration and such, I'm not too fond with how uh, my position on the bed and my uh, all that, you know, doing this stuff ends up causing a bit of shakiness to the camera. I uh, felt that it wasn't too professional. Uh, so I'm, so for this video, I'm going to have it like this, and you can tell me what you think. Should I just have the, camera, the video with the laptop with the camera back on the bed and see the shakiness, or should it just be like this on my bed still, but still just like this? Let me know in the comments. Anyway. Today's game, well, let me just put it like this. You remember the 90s, right? Only if you're a 90s kid, do you, I'm sure. Well, there were a lot of great things in the 90s, but to be fair, there are people that end up being like, oh, the 90s were perfect, everything in current day is shit. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. Back in the 90s, yes, we had shows like Rugrats, Doug, Hey Arnold, but today, we got shows like Steven Universe and Adventure Time, Teen Titans Go. I mean, granted that even though I like Teen Titans Go, that for some reason, almost nobody else likes Teen Titans Go. I'm not saying that Teen Titans Go is on the level of Steven Universe and Adventure Time. I'm saying that Teen Titans Go is at least decent. I can definitely say it's not as good as Steven Universe and Adventure Time, but it's a fun little show to watch. What I'm saying is, maybe kids have it better. Or maybe kids just haven't seen Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead was a show in the 90s that, honestly, you had to sneak by your parents to watch as a kid, because it was actually targeted towards teens on MTV. Chronicled the adventures of two very dipshitic teenage boys, one named Beavis and the other named Butthead. I don't even know if that's a nickname. They never touch up on if his actual name is Butthead or if it's a nickname. And it was honestly very popular with the only other series by the creator, Mike Judge, getting more popular than it, was King of the Hill. It ended up even lasting longer than Mephus and Butthead, but... Unfortunately... They made a game. Now, I'm going to be looking at the Sega Genesis one. Why? Like, I don't know. Because, well, me and my cousin, I remember playing it with my cousin. And being the little pussy that I was, was scared shit about something, I don't know. But basically, my cousin ended up playing it, I ended up playing it, and I was like, you know, he was like, hey, do a review of this. And I'm like, make me. And he was like, uh, please. And I was like, okay. So, uh, here we go. Well, isn't this a little faithful sort of thing? Just like the title screen, honestly. All right, so let's get oh. Why are they so old? What happened? Is this time travel? I don't want to do time travel. Okay, somewhere in a small American town, because they never bothered to actually explain what that town was. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it just took a while to load. I didn't understand that. I oh, Guar! I remember Guar, but that's not Guar. That was not Guar. That looked more like a, di a di bargain bin person thing. I don't know. So they end up getting tickets to Guar, celebrating about it, and a dog decides to snatch them. Okay, and oh my lord. Okay, uh, it's probably no big deal. Uh, and it's gonna... Okay, it ate them and it vomited them up. Ew. And he's about to take them and then a lawnmower shows up. Oh god, did he lose his hand? Nope. Well, looks like we're gonna be on a bit of an adventure finding ticket pieces. Cool. Well, this is essentially the game. 
I can jump. All right. And I, oh, my Lord. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. They look like the animation of Ed, Ed and Nanny running if they were beaten to death with a crowbar. And I can belch as a power. Okay, I don't know what I picked up in there, but that's fine. Okay, now we're going into their, I guess, their room. And let's see. So I guess we're supposed to look around this place. I can't get around. Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't move around like that sort of thing. So let's uh, let's just look around. Uh, can I pick these things up? Okay, I picked that up. Uh, I don't know what I picked up there. Okay, I picked up, I guess, a camera. Okay, is this really all there is to the game? I, I seriously... Okay, that was a password screen. And I don't want to be back here, I'm frightened. Okay, so I don't know what to do. Like, is this really all there is to it all? Just this house? That's... that doesn't seem right. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm just flailing around and wait. Um, let me try pressing this button. It's like, uh, is it? What do I? What? Oh, okay. I press. I think it was the B button to go ahead and pick up the remote, and then I go to the couch and select the level like that. Oh, this is gonna be troublesome. So you're playing a. Okay. All right, uh, I'm, I'm, okay, let me just, okay, okay, can I, how do I attack you? Can, how do I attack you? I can't do anything. I'm getting, I can't avoid this guy, can I? Okay, come on, let me just try, let me, oh my lord. Oh, that was it. Okay, I see what was the prop, okay, I'm dead. Well, that was unbelievably gruesome. That was really unbelievably gruesome. So, I had to press what, what I have mapped as, I think it was the B button, to pick up the remote, and then go on the couch to change the TV channel in order to select an actual level. Not only that, but it turns out that I still have the remote selected when starting a stage, and I had to manually swap out to the belch power in order to attack enemies. How was I supposed to know that? You shouldn't have the remote still selected in a place where it won't be useful. Have the belch as an automatic thing at the beginning of the stage. <sighs> Honestly, I can't believe I'm discussing how we have to to manually select having indigestion over a remote control. I just, uh... Well, at least it has a sort of Groundhog Day vibe, and there's very, pretty much no punishment in terms of uh, actually uh, losing a level. It's weird, but whatever. Alright, so let me pick up this remote. Let me just, okay, I had to be in an exact moment. Alright. Now, another thing I want to discuss is basically the problem with Butthead. Basically, how should I put it? Yeah, you get to play as Beavis the whole time, and you both, and both Beavis and Butthead have their own sort of energy meter, and I am about to lose again, aren't I? But another, nevertheless, the, oh, okay, the hit detection is crappy. Let's leave, oh, he respawned? Like, was that a respawn or was that another enemy? I can't hit him. Let me hit him! Let me hit him! Thank you, God! That's barely even enough help for me. Alright, and that's the end of that. I can't go any further. Alright, where was I? Simply put, you play as Beavis and Butthead, but you only control Beavis. You can't swap out between the two characters in any way, shape, or form. And you can only play as Beavis, even though Beavis and Butthead as well end up having their own sort of... end up having their own energy bar. But playing as Beavis only and having Butthead have an energy bar and be completely useless is pretty fucking moronic. Take a... let me just give you an example of sorts. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. 
When Tails ends up being introduced, oh, there's a neighbor with the lawnmower. I gotta kill him, but I can't do it because I'm dead. And Butthead's just doing fucking nothing. Yeah, here's a major situation with that. Sonic and Tails. So Sonic the Hedgehog 2, basically. Tails ends up being a tag-along buddy, if you want. But the thing of it is, Tails is actually able to collect rings and also be able to take out bad guys. Not only that, but when he's attacked, he loses no rings. He can even help collect rings in the special stages if you want. If you're able to do that. And that's all without the need of a second player. This game is so bad, but it still requires a second fucking player. Because otherwise, Butthead is fucking useless! Okay, let's just select a different stage then, shall we? What was that one? Turbo Ball 2000? Fuck it, I'm there. Alright. So, select the belch. Butthead is taking along like, Okay, a security guard is uh, using abusive force. I know this is America, but please, have your standards up. Ah, oh, Jesus. What is with this game? Ow, I got hit by a fucking shopping cart. What's in here? Buzz off, kids, you have no reason to do laundry? Alright, sir, I'll have you know that I would like to do my laundry. It's just that I can't afford it, I'm poor as shit. But you never know, maybe Beavis wants to do some laundry with that one blue shirt he wears. You never know. You never fucking know. You don't know him. You're not his dad. I want to think of it. Does Beavis, do Beavis and Butthead even have parents? How exactly can they afford a house if they don't have parents that are housing them? If we never see them, at least. <laughs> Ask real questions here. I remember you making your mess last time you were here. Take this, punks! Uh, I, I, I... You know what? I, I can't. I'm through here. This was awful. This was awful. I mean, granted, the controls were relatively fluent in terms of the jumping. And that's putting it lightly. The level design with the enemy placement, the hit detection with the belching, which is supposed to be your ability to, sh to attack people with constant indigestion, the... Uh, this game was awful! I wouldn't say it's as bad as Bubsy 3D or worse, but it was bad. It was very bad. It was essentially just like many of the things from the 90s, in terms of video games based on licensed stuff, a cash-in on something popular. But no, you have to have actual effort put in. And also, the whole rant about how Butthead is useless, comparing it to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with Tails, and then Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as well, kind of took a lot out of me. All in all, don't play this game. Don't buy this game. Don't look it up just on eBay to, you know, have as a collection even. It's not worth having a collection of it. Same with the Super Nintendo version. I hear it's different, but it's still very bad. Also, I heard there was a PlayStation 1, but I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to review one game for this one. Oh, boy. Well, take care, guys.